Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Happy Veterans Day to you. I hope you had a good night's rest and uh, you are ready to face the day. I would like to say to all those who have served our country, uh, God bless you and uh, we appreciate you. I'm going to read from Then Sings My Soul, 150 of the World's Greatest Hymn Stories. 1861, Battle Hymn of the Republic. Who is this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle? After the September 11, 2001 attacks on the Pentagon and the World Trade Center, a national service of uh, paper and remembrance was conducted at Washington's National Cathedral. America's most powerful leaders gathered to pray and listen to a brief sermon by evangelist Billy Graham and others, then joined voices to sing the defiant anthem, Battle Hymn of the Republic. It's then joined, uh, it, it seems, the world seemed perfectly sick to signal America's intention to battle the forces of terror in the world. Battle Hymn of the Republic was written by Julia Ward Howe, a leader in women's rights and an ardent foe of slavery. Julia, who came from a wealthy New York family, was married to prominent Boston philanthropist and humanitarian Dr. S.G. Howe. They were both crusaders for progressive political and more moral issues of the day. In 1861, during the darkest days of the Civil War, the Howes visited Washington and Julia toured a nearby Union Army camp on the Potomac in Virginia. There she heard soldiers singing a tribute to John Brown, who had been hanged in 1859 for attempting to lead an insurrection of slaves at Harper's Ferry. John Brown's body lies a moldering in the grave. The music was rousing, but the words needed improvement. Julia's pastor, who accompanied her, asked her to consider writing new and better verses. That night after the house retired to their room at the Willard Hotel, the words came. I went to bed and slept as usual, but awoke the next morning in the gray of the early dawn, and to my astonishment found that the wished four lines were arranging themselves in my brain. I lay quiet still until the last verse had completed itself in my thoughts, then hastily arose, saying to myself, I shall lose this if I don't write it down immediately. I searched for an old sheet of paper and an old stub of a pen, which I had the night before, and began to scrawl the lines almost without looking. As I learned to do by often scratching down verses in the darkened room when my little children were sleeping. Having completed this, I lay down again and fell asleep, but not before feeling that something of importance had happened to me. Julia gave her song to a friend who worked at the Atlantic Monthly. The magazine published it. In February 1862, sending her a check for five dollars. Mm -hmm. Well, we are going to attempt to sing this today. I sang this yesterday uh, to a group of people here. We're using the um, veterans uh, guitar again, um, wrapped by Graphic Creations uh, in. Waverly, Ohio, and thankful for that and for um, all the uh, work that they did on this. And then, of course, to all, uh, as I said, the men and women of the armed forces. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, 
hallelujah, His truth is marching on. I have seen Him in the watchfires of a hundred circling camps. They have builded Him an altar in the evening dews and damps. I can read His righteous sentence by the dim and flaring lamps. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. He has sounded forth the trumpet that shall never sound retreat. He has sifted out the hearts of men before his judgment seat. Oh, be swift, my soul, to answer him. Be jubilant, my feet. Our God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, His truth is marching on. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea, with the glory in His bosom that transfigures you and me. As He died to make men holy, let us live to make men free, while God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, His truth is marching on. Lord, I thank you for each and every man or woman that has put on a uniform and has fought for our country and those who have enlisted knowing that at any time they could be called to war and maybe they weren't in uh, wartime no, but God it's always a sad war can take place at any time and God knowing that and still uh, giving the sacrifice of their time um, to our country, to our nation. I'm thankful for that. I pray that you would bless each and every one today, God, through the memories they have of uh, maybe service, well served. God, I pray that you would give them a special blessing today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Uh, if you'll watch, of course, tomorrow, you'll see I'll be preaching in the morning. Brother Chris Priest uh, playing. Uh, he'll be preaching tomorrow evening. Then we'll see you back here on Monday. God bless.